Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Shanks has already had the opportunity to go and find the One Piece, or at least set foot on Laugh Tale. But when it came time for him to finally reach the last island, something unexpected happened, causing him to miss the opportunity. But now that he's older, he still knows parts of the path that he has to follow to find the treasure. After all, he was a member of Gold D. Rogers' last journey and a part of his crew in search of the greatest treasure in the world. So Shanks may in fact know its location. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Laugh Tale Island, who may know its location, how one might find this mysterious island, and why Shanks hasn't been to the island yet. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or one of your other favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, Laugh Tale is a secret island that is located at the very end of the New World and supposedly contains the One Piece treasure. It doesn't exist on the map, which makes it nearly impossible to find without having the necessary resources. The island was named by Goldie Roger after he and his crew arrived on the island and discovered the treasure left there by Joy Boy. And although Roger and his crew did not take the treasure, this still allows pirates to find and take possession of the treasure if they were to find it. In the world of One Piece, there are four special red poneglyphs, known as the road poneglyphs, that when read together, lead to four locations that when lined up, will tell the location of the final island, Laugh Tale. However, it's extremely difficult to find all four of these poneglyphs, as well as the fact that you'd have to have someone who can read the ancient language, making it all the more difficult to unravel. Because there's only a very few people that have this knowledge, and present, Nico Robin is the only one, aside from, say, somebody who came from Wano, that is able to read this ancient language. However, during the Whole Cake Island arc, it was said that the Three-Eyed Tribe were also able to read it. Now, although we don't know of any members of this tribe that have pure blood, Pudding, one of Charlotte Linlin's daughters, does have the blood of her tribe, and although not a pure blood, she should develop the ability to read the ancient language. But if Pudding is never able to awaken this ability, or just she flat out refuses to read for anybody, this makes Nico Robin the most important person in the world, because she's the only one currently able to read any poneglyph, which makes her a target for pirates and marines alike, because she possesses this forbidden knowledge, one that has been punished severely by the world government, and is now sought after by the whole world. Little of this mysterious island has ever been seen, but its coastline appears to be made up of steep cliffs with a large amount of wilderness, although there do seem to be some objects that appear to be old buildings or fortifications. However, we really can't rely 100% on what's been presented to us in these images, because after all, Oda does make an initial drawing of a look or a person as a reference, only to make it more detailed and more elaborate and more amazing when we finally get to see it revealed in the story. A really great example of this is Dr. Vegapunk, because initially we'd seen an image where he would be an old man. Uh, really, only half of his body was even in the scene. But now that we've gotten to Egghead Island, his appearance is quite a bit different than what we might expect. As we've seen, he is represented by multiple different Vegapunks, one of which being a very young and vivacious kind of girl. A totally different image from the one that we were shown. And even Kaido, the first time that we saw him falling off that Sky Island, was a very different appearance from the one we met in Wano. This proves that Oda really creates kind of a draft for a certain thing, and then the moment he has a better format ready, that's when the big reveal comes in. So in the future, we might expect Laugh Tale to look very differently than the way we've seen it shown in flashbacks. But Getting back to finding the island, once someone reads all four poneglyphs, they can then locate this indescribable, unlocatable island of Laugh Tale. And so far, we know a few people who have had, or at least known part of the story, being Big Mom, Kaido, and the people of Zo, who all have road poneglyphs. However, none of them were ever able to read it because only Robin, at least for now, is able to read that ancient language. In the past, Roger was able to find all of these poneglyphs, but still needed the help of Odin to read them. And now, currently, only the Straw Hats, Kid, and Law have any information about what is written in these certain locations that the road Poneglyph points to. It's been said that once someone arrives on Laugh Tale, if they have taken along all of the other passages of the Poneglyphs, then the final Poneglyph and message will be revealed, revealing all of the truth about the Void Sentry and all the other mysteries that run through the world of One Piece. During the past, it was Joy Boy, 
who was the first to find this island, leaving his greatest treasure that he owned there, the One Piece treasure. But after the events of the Void Century, the world government started to forbid research of the Poneglyphs because they purposely did not want anyone to ever reach Laptail, so that no one would ever find what's hidden there or learn the true history of the world. However, when Roger was doing all of his adventures during his time, he began to suspect the existence of a final island after reaching a dead end on Lodestar Island 39 years ago. And there, Roger's log pose would begin to behave very strangely, with the needle going wrong and never registering the next destination. This, and the countless stories and denials that had been uttered by the world government, fueled Roger's beliefs that there was something else beyond Lodestar Island, and it had to be something of immense value. Roger felt that there was something mysterious about this place and he needed to go find it. But the key for Roger to finding this final island rested in one of the crew members of the Whitebeard Pirates, being Kazuki Ode, because he had the ability to read the Poneglyphs. So Roger sought him out to recruit him, at least temporarily, so he could begin his final journey through the Grand Line with the intention of reaching its true end. And when the Roger Pirates finally made landfall and were able to discover this final island and decode the riddle behind the road poneglyphs, they found this final mysterious island 25 years before our current timeline. Upon coming across Joy Boy's treasure, Roger and his crew fell about laughing, and they learned the truth about what happened during the Void Century, the true nature of the three ancient weapons, and the real meaning of the initial D. Now, getting back to the main character of our video today, Shanks was a member of Roger's Pirates, and he came ever so close to seeing the One Piece when he was still a child. But his best friend and crewmate Buggy got sick during this final leg, so Shanks decided to stay behind and take care of him. But during the whole adventure that led up to Roger finding this last island, Shanks was there. And Shanks also was on the crew once everybody came back from Laugh Tale. So it's very likely that he would have gotten all the answers that would lead him to the treasure, because Shanks would have at least heard Roger talking about it or other crew members talking about the location and what they had to go through to get there. But with this knowledge in hand, this really makes us wonder why Shanks never decided to go after the One Piece. So to get a better understanding of what could have gone through his mind, let's first talk about what Roger's reaction was when he found the treasure. Upon arriving in Laugh Tale, Roger was able to discover all the mysteries of the world and the hidden history through the final poneglyph that is there, but he wasn't able to take any treasure with him after leaving the island. Roger and his crew are seen ecstatic and happy, I mean, laughing so much they were crying. But we don't know why Roger never took the treasure that he'd been searching for for such a long time. The answer could have come through the very simple line that Roger said while still on Laugh Tale, saying that he had wished that he'd lived at the same time as Joy Boy, implying that the mystery of why Roger may not have taken the treasure was because of Joy Boy. There's a lot of evidence and ideas around the community that indicate that Roger maybe couldn't have gotten the One Piece treasure because he couldn't open it or somehow get to what was in the treasure because it somehow involves Joy Boy getting it. Roger also has stated that Joy Boy hadn't come back yet, and something like that implies that only Joy Boy could open or get this mysterious treasure, because Joy Boy could be considered whether a key necessary to get to the treasure. Knowing this, Roger departed Laugh Tale, leaving the treasure behind, but brought with him great memories and the knowledge that that final Poneglyph showed him. And after getting Shanks and Buggy back on their ship, Roger may have told Shanks all that he could, and even how he could obtain the One Piece. This information could have involved telling him about a very special devil fruit that was once owned by Joy Boy and housed the god Nika, and what relation it had to Joy Boy, which motivated Shanks to seek out this fruit so that perhaps he could find the Joy Boy that was yet to be born in the next era. So once Shanks was all grown and had gotten his own crew together, he set out to sea in search of the Nika Nika fruit, and Shanks even managed to find it. However, it ended up being eaten by Luffy, which caused Shanks' plans to be at least temporarily delayed. Shanks now had to wait for Luffy to be able to awaken this fruit so that he could become Joy Boy. Since then, Shanks has followed Luffy's journey, hoping that he would be able to awaken this devil fruit at some point and get an opportunity to reveal the One Piece. We even saw Shanks say during the whole Cake Island arc, that he would be seeing Luffy soon because he could kind of feel that as Luffy's power was growing and after everything he had done in Dressrosa and all of the other kingdoms, he knew that Luffy would soon manage to awaken his fruit by fighting a Yonko. And this is the very thing that actually happened during the Wano arc. 
Luffy managed to awaken his fruit. However, he apparently failed to acquire something necessary to be able to find the One Piece treasure. But at the end of the Wano arc, we saw Shanks approaching the country of Wano, saying that now is the time to find the One Piece, which means that he knows that Luffy has inherited the title of Joy Boy. But Shanks may be waiting for Luffy to be able to control his powers completely before bringing him in and revealing all of the secrets. After all, Luffy has only recently awakened the power of his Nika Nika fruit, and he doesn't know how to fully utilize his full potential. So right now, he may not be able to open the treasure or do whatever needs to be done on the island. So Shanks may be just killing a little time by going after Bartolomeo while Luffy further enhances the powers of his fruit. But the moment Luffy is able to use all of the power, we can expect that Shanks will find him so that together they will be able to go obtain the One Piece treasure. Being able to discover the entire truth about the world and finally be able to obtain the treasure that so many pirates in the world have coveted. But with all that said, friends, we'd love to know what you think about it now. Do you think Shanks actually knows the whole story and where Laugh Tale is? And secondly, do you think that he learned about the Nika Nika fruit from Roger way back then? Finally, what do you think the One Piece is? I mean, we've had it confirmed by Oda that it's not one of those trite, oh, it was the journey that was the treasure. Oda has explicitly stated that it is something physical, and there have been a lot of really great and interesting ideas out in the One Piece community that maybe it's a treasure or a bottle of sake or something as interesting as a video from, say, a video transponder snail that tells the whole story. We don't know, but we'd love to know what you think about it. Let us know in the comments below. But as we wrap up our video, I'd like to thank all of you for watching all the way up to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.